And this whole Lambda thing, it gets even more important when we start talking about different types of fuel, right? Oh, yeah. That's where Lambda really shines. Because not all fuels have the same ideal AFR. Exactly. You can't just use the same AFR target for petrol and then switch to E85 and expect everything to run smoothly. So what's the problem there? Well, different fuels have different stoichiometric AFRs, for example. E85. It's a blend of ethanol and gasoline. It has a much lower stoichiometric AFR, around 9.8 to 1. Okay, so much lower than petrol. Yeah. And if you were to stick with a fixed AFR target, let's say 12.5 to 1, you could end up with a really messed up mixture depending on what fuel you're using. So it could be rich on one fuel and lean on another. Exactly. And that's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, that's not good for your engine at all. No, not good at all. So how does Lambda help us avoid this confusion? Well, the beauty of Lambda is that it remains consistent across different fuels. So it's like a universal language. Exactly. For example, if you're tuning a turbocharged engine under boost and you're aiming for a lambda of 0.80 to be safe from detonation, that 0.80 target will generally hold true whether you're running petrol or E85. 